Salt Lake Comic Con 2013, and we are here with Schlock Mercenary creator and artist Howard Taylor. Thank you so much for joining us today. Good to be here. Let's talk a little bit about self-publishing. What got you into self-publishing, and what were some of the pros, some of the cons that you had to weigh between? Okay, first of all, you need to understand that self-publishing for comics is a lot different than self-publishing for text, um, and it's been cool for 20 years. Okay. You know, self-publishing for text, you know, it's only recently that uh, self-pub has been, um, you know, acceptable. Has like been, more people are, are taking to it. Well, more people are taking to it, and it's not considered ghetto. Oh, okay. Uh, so um, when we first started with Schlock Mercenary, we were publishing it on the web, which was a form of, you know, self-publishing. We weren't making much money at it. Steve Jackson Games offered to print the books and, uh, you know, and sell the books through their channel. Um, so they would be my publisher, and that's no longer self-publishing. You know, that is, you have a publisher. Right. Um, but the publishing agreement was only going to pay me about 10% royalties, and their ops guy said, well, we expect to sell around 2,000 books. And I did the math and realized I'll be broke <laughs> before, because, you know, we were right. running out of money. Um, and Steve, bless his heart, it, you know, I, I'm grateful to him forever. Steve said, you should self-publish. And Sandra and I had run a record production company for years, and Sandra wow. had said, promise me we will never again have inventory in the basement huh. um, and I started doing the math and we realized that we could print we could print a book like this uh -huh. for less than five dollars we could print it for less than three dollars oh, wow. um, and the going rate for a trade paperback like this was around 20 okay. which meant that I could sell 2,000 books and pay the bills for six months which would be enough time to uh, put together yeah, another your print forces. run. Okay. Yeah, to, well, to put together another print run, right. to, put it, to put out another book. And so back in 2005, that's exactly what we did. We opened up pre-orders on the book, and in 30 days, the print run had paid for itself. We'd socked away enough to pay the bills for six months, and we realized, oh, well, now we know when the next book needs to come out. Let's get to work. Okay, so you're working on a timetable there. Let's look into the future, maybe five, ten years. Where do you see web comics and self-publishing in that area going? Wow, that's um, <laughs> look into the that's crystal a, yeah, ball. No, I'm looking, yeah, looking into the looking into the crystal ball. Digital distribution uh, right now is uh, sort of a wild, wild west, and I see that shaking out into a few publishers who try and dominate digital distribution as um, uh, as like portals, if okay. you will. Uh, Comicsology is already in that space. Comicsology does not make anybody much money except Apple and Comixology. Okay. Uh, you know, you pay a dollar for, you, every dollar you spend with Comixology, Apple gets 30%, and then Comixology gets half of what's left. Oh, wow. And so the creator is getting, well, let's see, 35, <laughs> 35 cents on the, on the book. Right. Whereas if you publish a PDF of your own stuff, okay. um, for every dollar that's spent, you get a dollar. Okay. Um, <laughs> that's good math right yeah, there. It's, yeah, it's, it's, it's good math. And so self-pub for comics, um, as, uh, as gateways like the iTunes store, like the Kindle store, um, as things like that become more and more uh, comic and graphic novel friendly, you'll see a lot of comics in there that are self-pubbed, um, but you will also see people like me uh, selling PDFs or other... Uh, okay you know, other mobile electronic formats uh, straight from their websites. All right. Now, very quickly now, you do a podcast. Tell me a little bit about the podcast. Oh, our podcast is called Writing Excuses. It's a podcast for writers, um, for especially, uh, particularly for genre fiction writers. Okay. People who want to write sci-fi, fantasy, horror, uh, paranormal romance, <laughs> urban fantasy. Um, the tree branches from there. And yeah, and the, yeah, it, it forks out. We, I just we we kind of call it all genre fiction. Okay. Um, the tagline is 15 minutes long because you're in a hurry and we're not that smart. <laughs> um, and just this last uh, just this last weekend, and in, in San Antonio at the World Science Fiction Convention, um, the World Science Fiction and Fantasy Society honored writing excuses with a Hugo Award. Oh wow! For best That's related fantastic. work. Yeah, it was thrilling. <laughs> we were we were. Uh, Super excited for that! I don't actually have the trophy with me because <laughs> I wrapped it. it yeah, like. I put it in bubble wrap and uh, and shipped it home. Um, uh, but it's uh, Brandon Sanderson, Dan Wells, Mary Robinette Kowal, and I, and our producer Jordan Sanderson. Um, we talk for about 15 minutes about a given subject, okay. a specific subject that is important to genre fiction writers. Um, and and that's the week's that's the week's episode. So it's kind of a 15 minute education. 
a 15 Class minute education. Class is in session. Class in session. Um, the, the signal to noise ratio, lots and lots of signal, not a lot of noise. I mean, we listened to a lot of podcasts where people would just talk and talk and talk. And there were there were nuggets of wisdom. There were there was gold in but there. You have to wade through. Yeah, but you had to dig through the pile yeah. in order to find them. And we thought, you know, what if we just did a podcast that was all the good stuff, and we left oh. the other stuff out? And what we realized is that's hard. <laughs> that's really it's hard. Easy to ramble, hard to focus. Yeah, um, okay. but we we came up with a format that works for us, and um, and you can find that uh, at writingexcuses.com. You can find it on iTunes. A lot of fun. All right. Thank you so much, Howard Taylor. Thank you. We wish you all the best of success, and congratulations on your Hugo. Thank you very much.